Hello everybody, Metal Miss Python and welcome back to another episode here of Terraria Drunk Master Mode. I do hope you guys are having a lovely day. Thank you so much as always for all of your beautiful support in the last episode. I put a light goal out there of 2,000 and you know what? We just about hit it. So thank you so much for that one my friends. If we can keep it up with that kind of support, if we can keep it up with the 2,000 light goal, that would be absolutely fantastic my friends. Of course, if you do want to go one further with your support, go ahead and use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or any of my apex gaming pcs so the exploration continues in today's episode but in the last episode of course i did put out a poll asking you guys where we should make our main base and the overwhelming majority i think it was like 65 percent of you guys said that we should put it in this giant tree cluster down here now of course a lot of you guys were bringing up the very valid point in that uh, the Crimson Biome is neighbouring this. So I think it'll be a good idea at some point to try to shield this entire area from ever being overcome. So making like a three block wide area that sort of spans around the entire base area, you know? It'll be a good idea because then we might have no baddies spawning, you know? And by not having the Crimson be there, we can actually have the NPCs live in the area that we're setting up in, right? Because if you have yourself an evil biome, you're not going to be having any dudes live there. So, yeah, it's definitely something to bear in mind, isn't it? But yes, as I mentioned, we're going to do a little bit more exploring in today's episode. We haven't really explored the right-hand side of the world past the jungle yet, and that's most because we didn't really have any good weaponry to really, you know, traverse the world with. You know, a little bit more with confidence, you could say. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome to actually be able to explore the world with a little bit more confidence. So that's exactly what we're going to go and do. We've got an enchanted sword. It's going to pwn a lot of butt and it's going to be a fantastic time. So here we are. Heading into the mystical jungle. Ooh. You know what? While I'm here, one thing I will do is pick up some bamboo. I don't know about you guys, but I actually really, really like bamboo. I like how it looks when you place it down. I think it's a fantastic new building block that they added for 1.4. So, yeah. I mean, why the heck not, right? And who knows, ladies and gentlemen, because this is, of course, the drunk world seed, we might just come across some weirdness with the jungle. You never know, huh? You never freaking know. So, yeah, that's why we're doing some more exploring today. Oh, it must be a windy day, huh? There's freaking flying balloon slimes coming along. Holy moly, that's... Oh, my God, those guys take no knockback. Okay. Well, that's good, isn't it? You know, one of these days, ladies and gentlemen, we might just have a deathless master mode episode. I mean, how amazing would that be? All right, right back to it, ladies and gentlemen. That bat was just taken down by my booty. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, in the meantime, it is time. Wait, that is snow, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but usually the jungle and the snow biome are not together. Uh, okay. Well, that's clearly a drunk world seed thingy madu hicker, right? Uh, that is very weird. All right, well, I guess we're going to pop ourselves up here. See what's happening. Hey, yeah, all right. Another drunk world seed special. Oh, dude, this has got my favorite kind of snow trees as well. Oh, they're like little pine trees, aren't they? Oh, I've never heard the snow music from other worlds. Ooh. This is cool. This is really weird. Snow and freaking jungle together in perfect harmony. Well, not really in perfect harmony, in a uh, freaking combination of death. But, yeah, you get what I mean. Oh, man, that is weird seeing jungle trees and snow trees right next to each other, man. <laughs> How is that a thing, dude? Oh, no, I forgot about the freaking reduced movement speed. Ah! Oh, you hate to see it, guys. I certainly hate to see it. Any kind of movement debuffs are not welcome in this lad's eyes. Oh, yes. Ah! There's two of them! Ah, oh, you son of a gun, you actually almost killed me there, huh? Get out of here, and get out of here. There we go, I ain't having none of that freaking shenanigans. All right, come on, we're just gonna freaking carpet over this joint. There we are. Bye, everybody, you bunch of nincompoops. I ain't dying again, not again. I'm not that. oh, no, not this guy. That's not cool. I don't like these guys! Oh, God. 
Oh god, oh god, no, 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 I'm sensing a death incoming. Uh, side note, just how big is this freaking jungle, bro? Also, how ginormous is this freaking jungle mountain? Oh my god, it just keeps going up. And up. And up and up and up. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Man, that goes up super freaking high. I'm surprised this isn't, like, high enough for harpies to spawn in yet. Dang, that's crazy that. And it keeps going up. Whoa. Oh, no, you don't, Mr. Slimo. Holy mackerel. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we may actually have come across the end of the jungle, but it goes into this biome. The corruption. All right, well, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Irrefutable proof that both evil spawn on this world. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not freaking dying as soon as I get out of this biome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is there so many freaking bats? Get out of here. Go away. I don't want you here. You guys freaking suck, bro. Hey, buds. Hey, buds. Hey, how about some ancient shadow armor, huh? That'd be fantastic. But yeah, look at this, my friends. You just don't get this, do you? You just do not get this. You don't get both evil spawn in a world. So, just to take you through it. We have ourselves an almost endless jungle. Like, seriously, it goes all the way from, what, here? All the way to here. At the edge of the world, pretty much. Wow. And then, we have, what, two crimson biomes on this world? We also have ourselves this corruption biome. Ooh, snappers. Guys, you know what this means, don't you? We're going to be able to get ourselves both... The Brain of Confusion, and also the Worm Scarf. Eh? Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? All right, got to be real careful here, guys. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, nope. Nope. Oh, my dodging skills are amazing. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what do you know, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, oh, there's the ocean. That is it. We've actually come across one of the oceans in the world, eh? We didn't even come across the uh, left-hand side ocean, so yeah. Holy moly. Is it just me or is this like a ginormous freaking ocean? Whoa. Look, it's so big. We've actually got an ocean this time. <laughs> it's so weird. It's literally like almost weird to me that we actually have a proper ocean, huh? Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Do we have some time to go through and get some stuff here? Oh, okay. Health is going bye bye. But do you know what? We're done. Aha! Yeah! We got our first pet of the series, ladies and gentlemen. Shark bait. Do, 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 do. Yeah! Got him. We got him, guys. We got him. We got an angel statue as well, if we really wanted. Wow. What a bunch of crumbs that is. <laughs> So yeah, just to give you guys some idea of the scale of our jungle, like it literally runs from what? Here? All the way? Still going, still going, still going, all the way over to this corruption biome and the ocean. That is a ginormous jungle. That has got to be the biggest jungle I think I've ever come across, like bar none. Oh, you got to be kidding, right? I was just taking a freaking drink. Oh man! I was taking a drink. I wasn't paying attention to what was going on around me. And then a freaking demon I got my butt. Well, that's great, isn't it? Well, at least you're right beside spawn so I can get my money back. Yeah, that's right. You better give me it back. You better give me it back with some freaking interest on that. No? No interest. You son of a gun. Well, that's what you get for taking a drink, eh, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Yeah. You literally take your eyes off the game for literally two seconds to take a sip of your drink. And the game's just like, nah, fam. You're gonna die. You're gonna die, son. Son of a turd. Freaking game. Won't even allow me to drink. That's what this game is trying to do to me, isn't it? It's trying to, like, dehydrate me IRL. So I do really bad. <laughs> Oh, God. So, in terms of our building block supply, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually doing very, very well. We've got just over a full stack of those uh, bamboo blocks, and we've got a lot of other blocks that we could also use as well. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? How's it hanging? So, inside of this chest, we are going to find a lot of blocks. Look at this. We've got more than a full stack of wood and more than a full stack of bamboo. Now, if that isn't a freaking uh, sign as to what I should be making my permanent base out of, then I don't know what is. 
<laughs> oh, man. There's so much stuff here, though, dudes. All right, let's put all of our coins away. Yeah, we've got loads of these bad boys. Look at that, man. Just got freaking loads of stuff. All right, and then we can put all this stuff away as well. Dudes, we have so much generic crud. It's actually bonkers. Look at this. We've got like two and a half chests of just crud. I can't pick up that gold bunny. No. I know you guys are spotted it. And I know you guys are going to give me abuse. But I don't have a bug net, bro. God damn it, man. I would have loved to have had a bug net, man. I would have loved to have seen just how many gold critters I could get in this series. That would have been a fun little objective. Maybe not necessarily try and get all of them. Because that's just a little bit too reliant on R&D for my liking. But it still would have been kind of cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow. Really? Really? Huh? Really? Well, the good news is I didn't have any money this time. So do you know what? I don't even care. You can kill me all you want. Trust me, guys. I'm not intentionally dying either. I really am not. Just these guys are a bunch of buttheads. What am I supposed to do, huh? Huh? What am I supposed to do? Well, actually, one of the things I probably could and more to the point should be doing is making myself the cactus armor finally. So let's go ahead and do that. It will give us a little bit of defense and, of course, the permanent thorns effect. There we are. So we got 11 defense. Ah, but then if we had the Moon Lord legs, we could have 13 defense. Oh, man. All right, we'll put those on a social slot. Why the heck not, right? Why the heck not? All right, well, yep, that's a thing. What else can we make with all this cactus here? We could probably get ourselves a slightly better pickaxe. Uh, nope. Let's have a better one. I'd rather have a freaking default one than a heavy one with minor speed. Like, who the heck would settle for that? Uh, but yeah. Aside from that, yeah. We're looking kind of all right now. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, man, I am so glad that I managed to get upstairs in time because 100% that guy would have just, like, come down and killed me. A thousand percent, in fact. Not just a hundred percent, but a thousand percent. <laughs> Come on. Oh, God, I feel so much more sluggish now. I can't even get up there. What the hell, dude? Oh, my God, the Moon Lord legs. Oh, they're so far superior, man. Oh, God. Would I rather have the Thorns effect or would I rather have... Oh, no, this ain't good, is it? I don't even think I can, like... Hang on a minute. There we are. Oh, there we are. We're just about able to get over this thing, huh? What a bunch of balls. So that's the question, ladies and gentlemen. Would you rather have a permanent thorns effect or would you have slightly more defense and way better movement abilities? Huh? That's the question. Because I've got to be honest, I'm actually kind of feeling that maybe I should just go for the more defense and movement ability. I don't know, man. So real quick, something a lot of you guys were saying in the comments area in the last episode was the fact that obviously we have to make pylons, right? So we're basically going to have to build in all of the biomes that I had listed as options in the poll in the last episode, right? So what I was basically trying to ask is, uh, you know, what biome or area we should set up our permanent base in, you know? The permanent base, you know, where we're going to be going to get all of our belongings and such. That's basically what I was talking about. I wasn't talking about like, you know, where should we set up pylons? Because obviously we need to set them up all over the place, but rather where we should set up our permanent base. So yeah, guys, I do appreciate all of you guys uh, who mentioned that in the comments area. And I really do appreciate all of you guys who decided to vote on that poll. Like there was a lot of you guys who voted. So thank you so much for that. Yeah. All right, guys, heading into unexplored territory, according to the map right there. So yeah, this is pretty fun. All right, let's see what we can find huh? Is there even the most remote possibility that there's a fourth desert temple? Hmm? Apparently, it is possible. According to the wiki, someone has once found a world that had seven desert temples, which just sounds absolutely ludicrous, right? But, yeah, because this is a drunk world seed, maybe... Just maybe there's some other shenanigans going on here. We've already had three desert temples in this world so far, which is already pretty bonkers enough as it is, isn't it, ladies and gents? But 
There's always the possibility of even more shenanigans going on. It is the drunk world seed after all. Oh, all right. We'll actually head down into these trees and see what we can find. I won't leave you guys hanging. You know what, though? I'm genuinely surprised we haven't found more coin portals. The amount of vases that we have broken inside of these here trees is kind of bonkers, actually. You know, the fact that we've only managed to get, I think, one coin portal so far in this entire series is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of baffling to me. Like, I'm not the only one thinking that, right? <laughs> I feel like we should have more coin portals. Come on, man. Give me epicness. Do it now. Give me all the things. Uh, what do we got down here? Wow, iron. How fantastic is that? All right, well, yeah. We might as well grab it. We haven't really been doing a whole lot of, you know, resource gathering so far. Well, I say that, and then we've actually got like two and a half, maybe three full chests of just generic crud that we've managed to gather along the way on our exploration travels, huh? <laughs> Whoa! That's a big old room, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, sorry, Bunny. I didn't mean to. Uh, okay, more, more buckets here. We got some more Moon Lord legs. I mean, who wouldn't want to have loads of Moon Lord legs in their collection? Hmm. What have we got here? Wand of Sparking. Oh, man. Imagine getting a mythical Wand of Sparking. That'd be pretty special, huh? Holy crap. The chests keep coming thick and fast, man. Like, honestly, these freaking giant trees, they are just chock full of epicness, aren't they? I mean, at the very least, you're going to be getting yourself a whole bunch of bars. Like, look at this. Lead bars, copper bars, all the bars, my friends. All the freaking bars. And then, oh, look at that. We have mining potions. Yeah. Don't mind if I do, friendo. Don't mind if I do. Oh, look at that. Yet another freaking thing. Another chest. How incredible, dude. <laughs> There's so much stuff in these trees, bro. Oh, 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 oh. What was I just saying about coin portals, huh? Yeah! Hey, don't mind if I do, my dude. Do not mind if I do. Oh, my lord. See, I swear to God, ladies and gentlemen, that I could just call things in Terraria. I think I've got the way of the prophet. I literally think... I can call things in Terraria. It's absolutely bonkers. I mean, you guys have seen it plenty of times. I called the Enchanted Sword, did I not? I also called, kind of, the freaking dude. You know, the freaking put coin portal thing. You know, it's crazy, isn't it? Oh, nice. Warding this time. I'll tell you something. Four extra defense is absolutely fantastic. Now, here's the thing. We do not need two of these things at all. So I'm actually going to go ahead and chuck that thing away. We've already got a radar as well. We do not need a second one. So I'm actually pretty okay in terms of just going ahead and chuck that thing away. Hey, another Finch Star. Sadly, is the exact same one. So, eh, I don't really care too much about it. Got another Ladybug Minecart and, well, not a great deal of anything else. Wonder Sparking is a dupe. We don't need that. We also do not need that. Uh, well, technically, we don't even need the Finch Staff. So I'm going to go and get rid of that in favor of all of these various bits and bobs here. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm running out of things to chuck away, actually. Spear? Nah, we don't need two spears. Bye-bye. Oh, God, I thought I was done with these freaking trees. Nope. <laughs> Giant forest lake and then even more trees. Hey, do you know what? Huh. So we were going to set up around here, right? But actually, I mean, there's no crimson around here. This may just be a way safer area to set up a base in terms of it not being overcome with crimson or corruption. Now, of course, that is, of course, assuming that we don't have a crimson or corruption nearby. I mean, we are pretty much right next to the beach at this point. So what do you guys think? Could this be the area to settle down in? And the trees uh, still don't stop. They're still going. <laughs> We must be so close to the beach by now, man. The trees just don't stop. They've literally taken over the entire world. Holy mackerel. Hey, bud. How about you? Uh, don't kill me. If you kill me and I'm all the way on this side of the world, I'm going to be so freaking sad. I'm probably a little bit angry as well. All right. What do we got here? Another radar. Oh, a worm bucket. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me some of that. We don't need another radar. That's just not needed. That's not needed. We don't need the marigolds either. We're all good, baby. Wow, this one's like a double tree. What the hell? I've never seen this before. Is this a drunk world seed thing? Uh oh. Whoa. You guys were telling me about this. A different colored tree leads to, I think it was the underground dungeon. Yeah, that's right. That's a that's a drunk world seed thing. Uh, the dungeon entrance is actually underground. And the old man actually has a full-on base to call his own. So, what that means is if we were to go down, I think it's this shaft here, we should find ourselves an underground dungeon entrance, right? Oh, dude. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, my God. If I died there, I would have been so sad. Oh, my word. It's still going down. Oh, hang on. What's this down here? Oh, underground house. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, our first one of the entire series, guys. Beautiful. All right, what have we got here? Magic mirror? Hey, Hermes boots with more defense. You know what? I'm actually pretty chuffed about that. Uh, Aglet can probably be taken off for now. Uh... Oh, no. Uh, there's so much stuff that I want, but I don't want to get rid of, dude. Do we really need two pairs of climbing claws? I'm going to go out on a limb and say, nah, we okay, my dudes. We okay. All right. Oh, there's an anvil there, actually. And a loom. Dude, we could do with both of these things. Oh, we weren't that far away from the dungeon, though. There it is, ladies and gents. Oh, underground. And it's like purple. We've got a purple dungeon. How weird. I love it. That is so cool. We've got a different colored dungeon as well. That must be a drunk world thing. I'm a little bit concerned though that if I was to go in there, the dungeon guardian would just come down and pull my butt. You know? A very real possibility. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I love being able to run very, very speedily through things. What's that? Regular climbing claws? Don't care. If it was warding, I would have absolutely jumped at the chance to have it. You know what I'm saying? Aha! Okay, so this one actually leads into the dungeon. I'm actually... Oh, man. I don't want to go down there, dude. I'm so scared that if I go down there, the dungeon guardian is just going to pwn me. I don't want that to happen. I can't tell you guys how much I don't want that to happen. So what I think I'm going to do really, really quick is I'm actually going to explore the rest of this tree cluster. And then I'm also going to explore the ocean just to say that I've done it. Right. And then I'll probably feel a little bit better about, you know, just taking on a death. If that winds up being the case, that is. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there's a chest outside the tree as well. All right. Well, I ain't going to complain about that. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Terraria. Appreciate you. All right, what you got for me? Another wand of sparking. That's an absolute bunch of poop. I tell you what, guys, though. We are definitely not going to need to make any chests for our eventual storage area, are we? Because we've got a significant amount of chests back at the original tree cluster. And now we have 12, 13, 15 more chests. That's a lot, isn't it? That is a lot. So, up, up, over, and away, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder what the chances are of us finding another enchanted sword shrine. Oh, uh, zero. Absolute zero, because I wasn't actually kidding. <laughs> the beach literally is here. <laughs> oh, the angler. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? Hey, Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Finally, we have achieved it. 100% of the surface... Uh, you know, like, the actual service has been explored now. In terms of the Sky Islands, obviously, we haven't found any yet. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff still to do, my friends. Now, I'm not going to go into the ocean this time simply because I just don't have the inventory space to really do anything with any of the things that we're probably going to get in the ocean down there. But what I will do, though, is go down to that dungeony. I want to see what's going to happen if we actually go in there. I want to see if we can find the old man because, I mean, clearly he's got to be around somewhere. You can't have a dungeon without the old man unless the old man has been defeated in the form of Skeletron, you know? So I tell you what, let's go ahead and put this thing down. We'll put all of our money in here, okay? And then, yeah, we'll just go ahead and get ourselves down here and see what happens. We'll see what happens when we visit the old man inside of the dungeoni all right come on baby i am expecting death anything better than death in other words not death would be rather cool oh god okay well here we are there he is oh are you kidding me 
alchemy table? Alchemy table pre-Skeletron. Dude, that is massive. That is massive for our series there, ladies and gents. Dude, i got to pick that up. Wow. Take that out real quick. Turn the light. Ah! Oh, that was scummy. That was scummy, dude. What a bunch of... Oh, and it killed me. Oh, good job. Well, the good news is there's a Blood Moon painting. The other good news is we didn't die going inside of this place. I wonder if that technically means that they've gone ahead and, like, moved down the cave slash cavern layer. You know? Because usually when you hit that inside of a dungeon, that is when the dungeon guardian comes out and pones your butt. But it just didn't happen that time, did it? So in today's episode, we've come across the corruption. So we have double evil on this world. We've come across the endless jungle, which has killed us many times. We've also come across the drunk dungeon. So, yeah. You know what? In terms of exploring drunk features on this world, we have not done too bad, have we, ladies and gents? Yes, we've died a whole bunch, actually. But you know what? It's all been in the name of exploration and just trying to find out what exactly it is that's so drunk about this scene. So, ladies and gentlemen, our junk chests are really starting to get full now. I do believe that what we're going to need to do in order to easily transport this stuff between this area and the beach is we're probably going to need to start making ourselves some pylon builds, huh? So yeah, we would need ourselves a forest pylon around here, and then of course the ocean pylon to the left-hand side of the world here. Although, obviously, alternatively, we could try to explore the underground desert. But, I don't know about you guys, but exploring the underground desert this early in master mode is just an absolute suicide wish. Like, the death counter literally would break. So, yeah... I'm not entirely sure the way forward. Guys, if you have any suggestions, let me know. But for now, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode right here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, I know it's been like a couple exploration episodes in a row. But honestly, guys, just for us trying to find out what exactly you're so drunk about the Drunk World seed, it has been worth it. So yeah, next episode, guys, I promise you guys, it is going to be a building episode. We'll try and get ourselves some building stuff done. Maybe we try and get ourselves some mining stuff done, get ourselves some better gear all that kind of stuff but yeah the exploration has definitely been needed and i really do hope that you guys have enjoyed exploring this world with me to see what exactly is so weird about this world scene so guys like i say drop a like if you haven't already i'd very much appreciate it hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss out on my future terraria content here on the gb channel but for now thank you so much for watching have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next episode